Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. We're going to be looking at simplifying fractions with variables that are under square roots, dividing radicals that have fractions with variables. Um, in particular, we're not going to be looking at rationalizing the denominator yet. That's going to be like the top level. This is like second to top level in terms of difficulty. Now, when you're working with any kinds of variables under square roots, your textbook should have this note here, where you're asked to assume that all variables represent non-negative numbers. That's kind of a theoretical technicality that you're going to want to watch out for. Um, if these variables could were negative numbers, I'd be having some different answers. So um, just make sure that your teacher is okay with you not working with absolute values. If you do need to include absolute values, then this isn't the pen cast for you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and look at problem number one. What I'm going to do is simplify um, the top and bottom first, like un simplify under the radical first, and from that I'll split it into top and bottom. Here's what I mean. x to the fifth over x, that's just jumping out at me. It's saying, you got to reduce, got to reduce, so I just can't help myself. I have to make it 25x to the fourth over 36, because now I don't have any x's in the bottom. Now I can rewrite that as square root of 25 on top times square root of x squared times square root of x squared, because x to the fourth is x squared times x squared my bottom would be root 36. Let's simplify that. On top, square root of 25 is 5, square root of x squared is x, square root of x squared is x again, and then it's all on top of 6. So my final result is 5x squared over 6. Let's try another one. Square root 81 over y to the fourth. Now that fraction can't be simplified at all, so I'm going to go ahead and split it into square root of the top on top of square root of the bottom. Then square root of 81, I know that's just plain old 9, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify that. y to the 4th is the same thing as square root of y squared times square root of y squared, which is y times y. So my final result would be 9 over y squared. Problem number 3. Again, this fraction can be reduced. That 3 over 12, um, you don't have to reduce it. You'll get the same answer in the end, but let me show you how... If I reduce it, I'd work with square root of y to the 6th over 4 now. And square root of y to the 6th, I'll deal with that as y squared times y squared times y squared on top of square root of 4. Okay, square root of y squared is y, again y, again y, all over 2. So my final result would be y to the 3rd over 2. Last one. This fraction's got to be simplified. x to the 6th on top of x to the 10th. I could make my life so much easier if I um, rewrite that as square root of 1 over x to the 4th. What I did is I subtracted 6 minus 10 to get negative 4th, x to the negative 4th power. And then the negative 4 tells me to put x to the 4th in the bottom of a fraction. Okay, so let's split that up into square root of 1 over square root of x to the 4th. Square root of 1 is just 1. Square root of x to the 4th is x squared. So these problems were where I'm working with fractions that have variables under square roots. Um, all of these numbers were perfect square numbers, and you'll see some where they're not perfect squares, where you're going to have to rationalize the denominator. And by 2. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had... No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? Alright, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be dealing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah.